This video is entitled Compressed Earth Megablock for Transportation Structures. As you can see, we have a backhoe loading dirt into an Earthco Megablock prototype machine. It features a hopper, which is very typical of uh, compressed earth block machines that store the dirt until they're fed into a chamber. And then a compressive force is applied to produce a high density compressed earth block. Compressed earth block technology has been around for about 70 years now. It was designed and used earlier in housing and we are simply adapting a housing technology using a new innovative mega block system which is basically using very large or producing very large blocks of high density compressed earth into a transportation mode. We have envisioned it being used for retaining walls, sound abatement walls, highway subgrades, highway dividers, barricades, anywhere high density material can be used and in a very efficient and economical manner. The scale, as you can see here from the block being injected from this machine, is very much larger than your typical CEB block. Uh, small block systems are normally 10 inches by 14 inches and placed in wall systems manually. As you can see by the block that's growing here, which is about 14 feet long at the present time, this block cannot be handled by manual means, but must be picked up, carried, and placed into a wall system using mechanical equipment. We have a lifting device that uh, straddles this block, picks it up, carries it, places it into a wall with mechanical equipment. Very little human labor required. As you can see here, the block has been cut and it will start ejecting at four inches per compression stroke of the machine. It is a semi-continuous production process, very energy efficient production process. Our technology is new. It received a patent in December of 2007. It is um, or features the lowest embodied energy cost of basically any building system or production method. Uh, we take the machine directly to the job site and you can see here that the machine is trailer mounted. It, we take the local earth from the job site, place it directly into the machine, produce a block, remove the block directly from the machine and place it into its final placement. That's the ideal situation and that's what we strive for. We strive to do it in a very simplistic building manner. These are large modular blocks that equates to a very simple system of stacking them on top of each other to produce either a wall or a retaining wall, sound abatement, or even a subgrade under a highway. The uh, production speed is only limited by the size of the machine and the hydraulic system that's supplied. This little prototype uh, produces a block around every, or compression stroke every 15 seconds, injects block of about four inches. As you can see, it grows continuously. Uh, here you see two eight inch hydraulic rams uh, supplying a force of up to 440,000 pounds of compressive force to produce a very high density block. The blocks are being extruded so they're extremely consistent in both width and height, but they are infinitely variable in length allowing us adaptability on the job site to meet varying conditions, whether it be housing, retaining walls, whatever. As you can see here, uh, you collect the block out onto a uh, support structure uh, and it is lifted directly from there and placed into a wall. We are uh, reaching very high densities with these blocks and we can reach as high density as any compressed earth block machine in the world. It is variable. Um, typical compressive strengths have been running from 2000 to 2400 PSI. As you can see here this is a modern smith hammer and we're testing this block. You'll see a reading of 12 and we multiply that times 145 to get better compressive force, which is around 1,700 pounds.